What's going on, everybody? Western Physique checking in from the podcast microphone today. I forgot to turn on the microphone when I was recording this clip, so that's why you can't hear me right now, and I'm voicing over. Just hearing how it sounds. I might use this for workout commentary later on in the future. But anyway, let me explain what I'm doing today. Since this cut out, I will be going to the superstore to shop for $50 worth of food, so shopping on a budget video. This has been done in the States before, but I've just put a Canadian twist on it. The States has different prices than we do, so it's a little bit harder to kind of match and we don't get the same kind of good deals. So what I'm doing now is showing a different way since we can't get the same amount and type of products that they can get for $50, I'm showing a Canadian way of how much you can get for $50 worth and still be able to put on a decent amount of size and actually make some progress. All right, so I just got back out of the bank. We have a fresh $50 bill. Now it's time to head over to the Superstore to shop if you guys are wondering. And um, I'll make this a two-part video so the next part will be the cooking of everything and this time it's just going to be purchasing all the items just so it's not too long and it keeps you guys watching and engaged. So head over to the Superstore and I'll see you there. So the first thing I found right here for super cheap is pasta. So we have a whole bunch of different variety. They all are about the same price, 138 if you get groups of three, or 158 each separately if you're gonna not do a group. So since we're looking for the most bang for the buck, we'll go. I like penne shells. So we have some basic easy carbs. This is just a white pasta. It doesn't really matter. When you're having a budget like this, you just wanna make sure you get carbs anyway. There's no good or bad carb in this situation. Um, now next, we're gonna just keep walking around the aisle and see what I can find for a good price. Not too far down the aisle, I was able to find another good buy. What I have here is um, six cans of tuna for $5.77. Skipjack and water. And what you're getting here is 90 grams of protein for $5. So that puts us at $10. We still have $40 left to go. So it gives us a lot of spending room for more protein, a little bit more carbs, seeing how much we have left for maybe a greens or an apple, but we'll see how it goes from there. Found a decent deal on beef sausage. So you get 1.1 kilograms for $11.40. That will put us around 20, maybe $22. So I'll probably get this. I'm gonna get the chicken because 17 for 1.7 kilograms is pretty good. And we can portion out the size is a little bit smaller. The only thing you need to do to put on size is eat a significant amount of protein, have your carbs, which we're getting right now, and we'll leave us $10 for some more rice and stuff. But yeah, just make sure at least getting at four grams of protein a meal and eating at least three to four times a day to put on size. Like, and if say you're eating once or twice a day and you bump it up to that, slowly you're gonna put on size because you're changing the way you're eating and your body's just gonna use it to grow and when you're lifting, it's just gonna help you recover faster too as well. Another protein option for you guys is eggs. I personally, myself, do not ever eat eggs, so I never looked into it, but you get a good deal. 12 eggs for $2.88. This gets you 72 grams of protein per container. So if you unload about like three or four of those, it would like replace the chicken I just got. This is the car right now. We're gonna head over looking for the last piece of carb and we'll be back. Russet potatoes here, 10 pound bag for $4.97. That's like the best price out of all the potatoes here. You're not going for the taste, you're going for the purpose. So that's like the best bang for our buck. I'm gonna get this and compare it to the rice and see kind of what we'll get more um, out of. And then it will leave us with a little bit extra money. I think I possibly can get like a mustard or a ketchup to add just for a condiment. Um, it's getting a little tight. I think it's around $43 right now with those included. So we'll go look at the rice, we'll look at condiments, and then we'll cash out. And I found all of this. I'm kind of not liking the price. I think the potatoes are a way better deal. And that way you can have higher carbs, which will help us grow too as well. Hence getting bigger on a budget. So I'm looking at it. We're getting like 700 grams for 348. That's not bad. If you like rice, you can probably make it work into your $50 range. But if you don't, Go with the potatoes. I'll pick up like a ketchup or a mustard, maybe one of each just to put onto the meals, make them taste a little bit better. I'm just gonna go with ketchup. 
you know, it's under three dollars in my range. I'm gonna see how much this comes up to. All the mustard is over here too as well. Oh man, actually, one ninety-seven, two twenty-seven. It's about the same price, so whatever you like better, mustard or ketchup, you make your choice. And earn inserting the bills in the bill and your receipt. So the shopping trip wasn't that bad. I was underneath the budget with a price of forty-six dollars and forty-eight cents. So honestly, I wish I would have got oats. I thought the taxes would be a little bit more, so my estimation was over what I thought. We do have a lot of good quality. Well, I'm not gonna say the best quality. It's still gonna get the job done, but it's drum wheat. Got chicken, beef sausage, tuna, potato, and ketchup. The next video, I will show you how to cook these products and kind of like put them together and make a little simple meal plan to put on some size um, on a budget. Western physique, and we're out. Yeah, blow the trees. Six hoes go both ways. Six hoes go both ways.